Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today I'm going to show you how to get to your desktop from any window, game, whatnot, in one click of a button. Now, as far as things goes, this is meant for mostly for Windows computers. If you can run auto hotkey on anything, because there's voices to run it on anything other than what it's supposed to be, then if you can run it or anything like it, then this video might still be able to help you. But for the most part, this is pertaining to Windows computers, particularly the ones with a hotkey to get to your desktop. Now, how do you know if you can if you have that hotkey? It's the Windows button, which is this, and D. So pre press both of those at the same time right now. If you can get to your desktop, then this will work. And the reason why you might not want to do that as far as pressing those at any given time is the simple fact that those are right in the middle of your keyboard. You got to hunt for them. It takes time to get to them. If you press the wrong one, you can really have a bad day and what I'm doing is I'm moving it to F2 which is almost a useless key for the most part and this will actually allow you to minimize everything by just pressing F2 instead of going for two keys and especially two keys right in the middle of a keyboard. Now as far as things goes you can definitely do this uh, and so open up a, the desktop you can actually have it open up spreadsheet or whatnot so if you're at work playing game you can definitely have that covering you but uh, I wouldn't advise that too much now I will leave a link below to this and this page but for the most part I'll also leave this code below so if you're just looking for this code then there you go if you want to replace this key you need to go to this page and figure out what your your key is so say for example if i want to change it with the escape it's esc and right here i'll just put in esc instead of f2 again i'm i when i want to press f2 i want everything to minimize and i'll give you an example of that in a second so as far as this code goes what it says is when i press f2 it needs to virtually press down the left windows button and d at the same time wait for a short time then release those and that simulates as if you were pushing it yourself obviously if your keyboard's acting up and if your keyboard is pressing buttons down on its own you might want to throw your keyboard out and run it or go to the doctor and get a drug test i advise that last one even more so without trying to be funny let's go ahead and uh press that and as you see it works now you may run into some problems, just real quick, um, let's just throw a random character in, save, and refresh this, and by the way, how you know if it's, if you have it up is this, and as you see, you have that, so just keep that in mind, it tells you where the problem is, unfortunately it doesn't tell you what line, so just keep that in mind, and again, Let's reload the script, F2, and there you go. So anyways, it's been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of TechFuse Up. I know it's been a pretty short video, but it's just meant to show you that. Again, you can reassign the keys to to actually open up a document, a spreadsheet or whatnot. So if you're playing a game at work or whatnot, well, your boss probably won't know for a while, but he might figure it out over a period of time if your spreadsheet does not change or uh, whatever you're working on. Now, one thing I advise is if you do this at work and if you're doing it for that purpose of hiding the game or whatnot from your boss, I would advise against that because most company computers have something on them where it takes screenshots and if your boss suspects something your boss can just request the IT person just send them an email and your IT person can actually send and uh, the, the screenshots and the uh, that will actually show you actually playing the game government computers definitely have this uh, in the United States outside the United States most countries um, most large companies have this small companies some of them even have this so it's something to keep in mind 
Now, how do you avoid this from happening? You can pay off your IT person, but what happens if they take your money and still tell your boss? You ain't getting your money back, and there's no way you get proof that you give them money. Because most likely you didn't film it, and most likely you don't want it filmed because that's called illegal. <laughs> that's, that's, I think it's bribery. And I think um, there's also some other stuff because you're, you're still on time. It's called time theft. So anyways, it's been Craig Bennett, founder on our Tech Fusion Up. Again, if you're running problems, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section, and I'll try to help you out. I, I'm not an expert when it comes to auto hotkeys, but if you do run problems generally in auto hotkeys, I'll try to help you out there too, or send you some to some form or something that can. And if you've got any suggestions or any particular commands or whatnot that you want to show off, then feel free to leave them in the comment section too. And if I like it, I actually might make a video on it and give you a shout out. If you want to keep your stuff anonymous, email me on techfusionup.com. And that is a private email that goes directly to me. And as far as things goes, if you, the, this video helped you at all, please like, please subscribe, and please share. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder and owner of Techfusionup. And hope you have a great day.